ready for the best 2K series on the planet? It's back, baby! Come on! It's back, baby. It's back, baby. You thought it was coming back? You asked for it. You asked for it, and it's here, baby. Who else does it like this? Who else got that point stash wheel of 2K repping? Boys, trust me. I see the comments. Long awaited. The banger series. The best my team series on YouTube. Let's get it, boys. Now, for all you complaining, listen, I started Wheel of 2K last year, June 4th. You're getting this more than a month earlier, okay? And we're gonna make this year NBA 2K22 the best season of Wheel of 2K you've ever seen. Now, if you're new to the channel or you just want a refresher, let's talk about exactly what Wheel of 2K is. Now, a lot of people know Papa Meeks from Wheel of Mutt. And in Wheel of Mutt, I spin a wheel, I build to my horrible Madden team and I go try and win a Super Bowl. Wheel of 2K is very similar, but it does have some pretty damn big twists. Number one thing that remains the same in Wheel of 2K, we start with a garbage team. However, I am entitled one team captain each season. So my whole team right now is going to be Amethysts and Sapphires. It's trash. And the goal as we progress in this series is to make it better. But I get one player on my choosing at the start. Let's take a peek at the team. I'll go through some rules. I'll show you what our squad looks like and we'll get into this season opener baby you already know this is gonna be a banger this is our team an 87 overall offense an 85 overall defense and an 86 flat you're looking at this team and you probably have no idea what's going on so let me walk you through it my starting lineup can be amethyst at best and my bench players can be sapphires as for my starting lineup my team captain that i chose is galaxy opal beasts john moran i love john moran if i could choose to bandwagon a team that wasn't the dallas mavericks since I already bandwagoned them. He's like a mix of Allen Iverson and Derrick Rose. And I just pray that he stays healthy because he plays so explosive that he's probably gonna pull Derrick Rose, which would be really sad, but whatever. So instead of there being an Amethyst point guard, my team captain is John Morant. He's locked in for the whole season. Hopefully, he'll help kickstart this team into a W. The next thing you're seeing here, which I know you're confused about, is this dog water Jimmy Butt. And this is something new that we started in Wheel of Mutt this year, and I'm bringing it over to Wheel of 2K. That is the Power Up Player. So the Power Up Player starts at their absolute worst version, right? The 77 overall Jimmy Butler. If he plays well, we're entitled to the next best version of his card. So for the Power Up Player in Wheel of 2K, here's how I'm gonna do it. The player must do one of two things. They can either get 10 points or a double-double. Now, most of the time, if you're getting a double-double, it's with points. So if Jimmy Butler somehow in this next game got 10 10 points and 10 rebounds, we would get two upgrades. This will be the progression for Jimmy Butler. Once I get 10 points, I get his Ruby, 88 overall. Still not good, but a huge upgrade from the 77. Next is the 89 and the 90. There's a 94 diamond, the 95 pink diamond. After that is a 96 overall pink diamond, and then a 99 dark matter Jimmy Butler. But it's baby steps. I'm gonna have to try and get this Jimmy Butler 10 points first. I went with Jalen Green, because I really like Jalen Green. I think he's awesome. Uh, Evan Moe Probably runner up for rookie of the year. I thought I'd show some love to Cleveland because I mean, what the fuck's in Cleveland? That place sucks. And then Carl Anthony Towns. Now, before I spin my wheel and add a player to this team and we talk about all those rules, I want to show you why Wheel of 2K has a very big twist as opposed to Wheel of Mutt. And that is the cheat sheet. Now, the cheat sheet is the reason that we play Wheel of 2K. Every Wheel of 2K season is 12 my team games. Depending on how I perform in those 12 games will determine my punishment or or what you guys have to do for me. So if you're watching this series, you've already signed the contract, go ahead and shake on it. Don't cross your fingers, I don't care. I'll personally come to your house and have sex with your mom. Actually, that's on the cheat sheet. So let's let's just go through it. If somehow I literally didn't win a single game, if I went 0-12, I would have to streak an NFL game. I would buy a front row ticket, I'd get butt naked, and I'd run on the field. I envision I will win at least one game. One in 11 is the naked mile. You get butt naked and you have to run all of MSU's campus uh, because MSU's campus is I think 1.2 miles. So I'd start at one end and I'd run to the other of Michigan State's campus. So I just need to win two games, guys. It's probably not gonna happen. It is technically possible. Probably not gonna happen. 
two and 10. This is probably the absolute lowest that I could envision is actually possible. So I did an 100 jersey giveaway. If I went two and 10, I would give away 100 NBA jerseys to you guys. So this one, instead of it being embarrassing, the boys all win. Three and nine, I will call five previous claps. Okay, so what this is, is I'll call five girls that I clapped and I'm gonna ask them like on speaker in front of the camera how good I was at the clap. Four and eight, subs, truth, or drink. Okay, you saw my truth or drink video probably. If you didn't, the premise was uh, truth or dare. But if you didn't want to answer the question, you had to drink. Uh, so if someone asked me a really tough question that I didn't want to answer, take a shot. So the difference here is you guys would actually determine every single question. So on the last one, we just pulled question off of Google. We watched some other videos, did some funny ones. But every single question would come from you guys. Five and seven, kind of the same deal. Subs, DM, 10 people. You can write up 10 DMs, four or me. We'll choose the 10 best and I have to send them out. So if it's to your boy pizza, if it's to Bella Porch, if it's to Summer Rae, whoever, I have to send them out. Keeping in mind that since I have that blue check, get flexed on. You're a peasant. I'm better than you. L plus ratio. Keep in mind that since I have the blue check, any verified person or really anybody will see the DM. Six and six is a henna tattoo. This was on the cheat sheet last year. I think it's a funny one. It is embarrassing, but I wouldn't mind too much doing this and that's why it's at six and six. So you could just do like a henna, like a giant cock and put it on my arm. Henna tattoos go away after two weeks, but they're like really prominent. They look like a real tattoo. Whenever I went to the gym, wherever I went that next two weeks, I'd have like the, a big cock on my arm. Seven and five, I would play 2K high. So the next episode of Wheel of 2K, I would just be on Jupiter. That one would be funny. I wouldn't mind doing it for seven and five. And as you can see, the closer we get to a better record, me playing better, the worse the challenges. Eight and four, I like this because if I play well, we all win. Eight and four, I'll do three signed jersey giveaway. And nine and three, I'll do a five. I've signed jersey given. If I hit 10 and 2, this is where I'm safe, okay? If I hit 10 and 2, you have to comment, nice cock. That's it, all right? It's not a big ask, okay? You signed the contract, you already shook my hand. Just tell me I have a nice cock. Maybe throw in a rating, eight and a half out of 10. I like the vein down the middle. Good girth, sits nicely on the ball. Something like that. I wrote 11 and 2 because I'm a total fucking idiot, but that should say 11 and 1. Wow, I gotta go fix that. God, I'm so stupid. Oh wait, when you're seeing this, I've already fixed it because I'm recording. 11 and 1, I will be asking each and every one of you for $1. We're all going to donate to the exact same charity. Presumably, this video gets, let's say, 300,000 views, right? Each one of you who watches it, I would ask you to donate $1. Assuming I went 11 and 1, I would ask each and every one of you that we all donate $1 to the same charity. It would probably be like an animal rescue charity. That's something I really care about. So we could get like $300,000 to a charity. That would be sick. 12 and 0, I literally own your mother. Your mother is now mine. I'm your father. I can come over to your house and clap whenever I want. And you don't have any say in it. It's not, it's not a debate. It's not a negotiation. I literally own her. At the end of the day, if that was all too confusing, let's make it simple. I spin a wheel. I make my team better. And based on my record is in 12 games, I have to complete a challenge. It's relatively simple, but it's going to be a banger. Let's get ready for this video. So looking at my team right now, John Morant is going to be the carry right now. And I think Jalen Green, Evan Mobley, Carl Anthony Towns can play well. But I think the most important thing I want with the way I play 2K, a center. I run a lot of pick and most of the points I get are with my big men. So if we can get a power forward or a center with this spin, I'll be really happy. We'll get Mo Bomber, Mile Bridges just completely out of the lineup. And then Mobley or Carl Anthony Towns will come in for some nice bench minutes. Our franchise! Oh my goodness! I forgot to tell you guys about our franchise. All right. We are the Salt Lake City Mommy Milkers. I'm so hungry! I figured if anybody could appreciate a good old-fashioned mommy milker, I couldn't find the Jazz Arena auction house, so I just went with Mavericks because that's my true bandwagon team. And then my floor is the 98 Jazz Force, so I'm actually, I really like it. Let's get it, boys! The first spin of Wheel of 2K season <laughs> over there! I couldn't be more excited. Let's see what we got here. It's gonna be a... Okay, it's a random jersey that we can take any single NBA player, but they must have the jersey number that Echo's about to tell us. Echo, pick a number one through 69. Here's a number between one and 69. It's 47. 47? No shot! Whoa, this is so weird, bro. The only player I could find that's number 47 is Andre Kirilenko. Number one, I know every single year Andre Kirilenko is like, I don't know shit about 2K, but I know Kirilenko is just goaded. And guess who he played for? The Utah Jazz. Now keep in mind, gentlemen, if I lose this game, I do not keep Kirilenko. I only keep my wheel spin if I win the game. Dude, I remember this dude just ruining me all last year. Everybody had like, I was like a Galaxy Opal Kirilenko and he could just shoot the lights out. 
All right, so Kira Lake went for Mobley, and I feel bad taking Miles Bridges out because I actually really like Miles Bridges. If I go up against just the most ridiculous dude on this first game, I'm gonna be so sad. All right, the only other thing we haven't done is the challenge wheel for Wheel of 2K. So once this lands and I get to see his team right now, I'll let you know, oh my God. This is like the Dirk challenge, but I don't have Dirk. Three times post fade, one player. How are you gonna put me up against this guy? How is this who I'm playing against? Let's just dominate a Dark Matter squad. Yes, sir. Great pick and roll. My goals right now are 10 points of Jimmy Butler and three post fades with somebody. And most likely that's gonna be Kirilenko. Also, obviously winning the game. And you know what? If he's gonna shoot like that, I will win this game. Let's get the post fade. Yes, sir. Hey, that's great. It's not gonna go in every time. We gotta hit three of those to complete our challenge. Dude, what is this guy, a Curry sexual? That was a horrible shot. Great D, oh my God. Wait, how does he have three points? When did he get three points? Kirilenko, wide open, Guap! <laughs> gotta be, gotta be. Dude, he's such a sharp shooter. My post fades are not in the books yet, but I'm actually feeling good about this game. His team scares the shit out of me. So does Shaq, honestly, and that's gonna be a menace to society down there, but I feel pretty good. Paul George, post fade, it's a three! Now let's go, that's one of three. Ah, he just cooked my ass, you deserve that bucket. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get Jimmy a bucket, dude. Oh, give him the oop. Yes, oh. Oops are a lot harder this year. Oh God, he's so open. Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh, he still got it. Did I have that ball? Oh shit, this is. All right, I say we focus on, let's get Kirilenko the fades, and then we'll look to Jimmy Butler. Shaq on Russell, I like that. Oh, up top, up top. Donovan Mitchell, Sapphire Green. Emerald Splash. No one's gonna get that, but whatever. Fuck my dick, my ball. Shaq owns me, actually. He literally owns the paint right now. Post up, go to the center, and hit it. Who else could hit a post fade on this team? Probably. John Moran's probably the only one I can think of. At what point do I just take the bucket because it's so free? Dude, what are you doing? This guy's like obsessed with this. Oh, okay. God, Kirilenko's a monster. Let's keep it up, boys. Mommy Milker's up by two. He's gonna brick another. Let's run this court. Give me a post fade. Give me one. Actually, Ja Morant Green! We're running away with it against this Dark Matter squad? Are you kidding me? Ah, you're gonna shoot. You're gonna shit. Oh, no time on this clock. Post fade. <laughs> shit. One post fade in the first quarter. I am definitely on pace, but we'll see how it goes. You think Westbrook could hit one on Curry? Or, uh, yeah, I was on Curry, right? Yeah, yeah, he can't. I'm just proud of our defense. They're allowing us to take so many bad shots because they're playing so well. Look at that. He's going to meet me out here. I got, oh, oh, get it over. Lean right. Yes, sir. That's a great shot. Dude, it's not easy, all right? I don't have a Dirk Nowitzki out here, so it's just not easy. Shit. He's going to shoot. Yup. Riley read him. Hey, let's go. He literally just wants to shoot with Curry. <laughs> this guy is absolutely a Golden State Warrior fan. That's fine, that's a horrible shot. And now we go into the center. Yes, sir! Another green! All right, one more, boys, so we can start playing, playing. And we're up by five. Respectfully, this guy is ass. His only game plan is to stand up there and just eventually shoot a three, so. Look at this defense, bro. Come on. Find that money spot, buddy. Yes, fade to the middle, he's not there, yes! The green Fades, all Kirilenko. He, he's my little Dirk Nowitzki. He really is. He's my poor man's Dirk Nowitzki. No green. more, dude. No more. Good D. Good pump. Mo Bamba, that's Damian Lillard. You're good. Why is Mo Bamba shooting a Kareem hook against Damian Lillard? What's his free throw look like? Chuggy, chuggy, choo, choo. Don't tell your mom. You know he's itching to shoot a three. Oh, he doesn't. No, dude. Dude, somebody stop this man. <laughs> somebody stop this man. 35 to 34. We're down by one, but hey, we had the bench in the last four minutes there. The starters are healthy. I actually feel really good now. And if I can find a way, get Jimmy Butler buckets too, but it's honestly really hard. He can't really create for himself. All right, that is so open. I gotta shoot it, right? No, 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 no. You can't leave Curry like that. How are we just getting fucking ripped? This Dark Matter shit is so whack. I had a wide open dude under the rim. All right, please. That's gotta be a bucket, right? 
Give me Butler, you scare me. John Morant, wide open green! Come on! Great defense. Out of bounds. See what he does here, see if we can get Jimmy Butler an easy one. Jimmy. It's gonna be hard to get Jimmy Butler points, dude. 10, I might have overshot on 10. I thought 10 would be easy. Jimmy Butler just fucking, not Jimmy Butler. Blake Griffin just boarded on, not again. We just gotta focus on getting buckets. I can't worry about, I can't worry about Jimmy right now. Damn. I actually think I can get Jimmy a bucket here. Don't need to. Let's play some defense, boys. No crazy threes. No crazy threes today. Holy shit. Please, Kirilenko. Ice in his veins. I can't sit here and complain when things aren't going my way. I just gotta make, I just gotta make the win happen. That's good D, that's not gonna go in. There he is. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what I did, I didn't mean to do it. Where is he? Who's open? He's out of position. Oh, all the way. Keep going, one more. Great screen. Oh, leaner, leaner, yes sir. Don't go to the paint, don't go to the paint. Take that, let's go. See like, bro, I only have 12 points with Ja. Getting 10 with Jimmy is gonna be tough. Give me that screen, Bamba. Oh, Bamba. Oh, I just ooped it. I just ooped it. That was a great foul. Obama for two? Oh, geez. That's a pretty good shot. I'm not gonna worry about last shot so much. I'm just gonna worry about a good shot. Money. 8.6 seconds, a beautiful two on the screen and roll. Textbook NBA offense. He wants a three problem. Look at that end corner defense. He's not very good at all at 2K, but he does have a good squad. So I'm like a five out of 10, but my squad sucks. He's like a two out of 10, but his squad is God tier. So we'll see. Oh no, he's gonna shoot. I was just about to say, when you're on their backside, they can shoot like crazy. That's how we're gonna get... I was literally gonna say, that's how we're gonna get Jimmy Butler points right there, but even that, he can't score. This, dude, the upgrade for Jimmy Butler is gonna be hard. But hey, Curry keeps missing, making my life easier. I see Jimmy Butler, but I can't. I can't do that. I want good shots. Like this. That is a high percentage look right there. Yup, I knew it! I'm in his face! We're clamping Curry in the fourth right now. Yes, sir. High percentage looks and one! It's my first and one! Kirilenko, 22, five and two assists for Kirilenko. This guy's the real deal. Shit. Wow, return to sender. You know who fouled me on the last and one? Blake Griffin. He comes down here, it's one of his own. Jimmy, can you hit that, Jimmy? He's open, but he sucks and he bricks it. Wow, it's gonna be really hard to do shit with Jimmy Butler. Get your shit out of here. That's a good shot. Just go, Ja. Just go to the paint. Oh, he went for the 180. <laughs> All right, let's get it in Kirilenko's hands. Eight seconds on the clock, need a great shot. Not a good shot, but a great shot. Oh, corner, cat. No, I tried to throw that to cat. Shit, Carl Anthony Downs was so open. And he's gonna hit a green. 60 to 58, he takes the lead. Oh, how do I do it? I'm doing it all wrong, bro. I'm tr I was trying to like icon pass. Why am I trying to icon pass when I'm down by two? Need to stop. Stop in a bucket. No. He is just gonna walk up there until he gets a three, I think. I gotta try and stop it. That's fine. That's a great, fuck me, I hate Dark Matters. They're so good. Wait, we're good. No shot. Thank you. Thank you, Ja. What, and then he got ripped? Yikes, man. I need two stops and to score quickly. Good D, good D. I'm not even gonna foul. I'm just gonna take my L. The only time I had a shot, like here in the fourth, is when Zach Levine put up that three. Zach Levine put up that three and I defended it and he drilled it. I had a shot right there. If he had missed that, I would have had a shot.
Honestly, it's not the worst sign in the world. If I can hang with the Dark Matter squad, it's kind of good news. Jimmy Butler missed that wide open three at the end. I mean, obviously, it kind of sucks, but it was pretty much Kirilenko and John Moran versus the world. And they almost pulled it off. Kirilenko, I'm literally so sad. Since we start the season 0-1, your mother is safe, actually. So if you look at the cheat sheet, your mother is safe because I'm 0-1 right now. Look at the box score. 24 for Ja, 23 for Kirilenko. 10 for 16 and 10 for 15. They played insane. It's the rest of the team that was ass. Wow, Kirilenko, absolute beast. Gonna have to take him off the squad. The good news is completing my challenge gives me one pack. I think limited edition has to be the best, right? I don't know what any of these are. Limited edition contains one guaranteed player. So it could be Alonzo. I could get Alonzo Mourning in this. Chris Bosch, come on, the Jimmy Butler, Glenn Robinson. So I could get any of these dudes. Eric Rose, Kevin Love, Michael Porter, Kawhi. I'm gonna go take off. I feel like limited edition might be better, but I'm gonna send this. I don't really know what animations look like. Oh, that one's shaking. That's it's a good thing, right? Wait, what was the pink diamond in this set? I forgot. Is it Michael Porter Jr.? I think this is Michael Porter. I think it has to be Michael Porter, right? <laughs> Let's go! Damn, I'm sorry, Evan Mobley. Evan Mobley is getting cucked left and right, but he's gonna have to go to my power forward because Jimmy, Jimmy can only play a small forward. Michael Porter Jr. So locked into the squad thanks to the challenge wheel. So that sucks. We're on one. We do have a player on the squad that stays. Original owner, 99 offense, 96 defense. Shoot. He's six foot ten. Three point scoring is an A plus. Did I just find myself a little, a little light skin Kirilenko? Not bad at all. We love to see that. First episode didn't go exactly how we wanted, but you know what? We got Michael Porter. We took a close L, but it was against an all dark matter squad. So I'm actually really happy with how we played. Hopefully next episode I can get my first dub in the books and thanks for watching wheel 2k baby let's have some fun peace out boys